Today I want to talk about rescuing crew and passengers from a disabled ship. In this video, I will be talking about the factors to be considered in such a rescue, the initial approach, the actions by the rescue vessel and the rescue boat and some of the other methods used in such an operation. Some of the factors that should be considered in rescuing the crew and passengers from a disabled ship are the condition of the wind, the sea, the weather, the capability of the seamen to handle the boats used in the rescue of the persons, the urgency of the situation, whether it's the daytime or the nighttime, how close you are or the other vessel is to the proximity of other dangers in the vicinity, what kind of help is available from the vessel at distress? What is the relative drift rate of the distressed vessel due to the current? The current in the sea conditions, vessel's own safety, maneuverability of own vessel, the visibility, the number and condition of survivors, whether the ship at distress is on fire or sinking, what kind of special equipment is available for the rescue to take place, and finally the seawater temperature. The initial approach to the rescue will include the rescue vessel to cruise in the area to ascertain the heavy wreckage or floatsam or floating debris. They must also maneuver in the wake of the distressed vessel to determine the relative drift of the vessel in that area. May also spread some oil in circular form around the wreck must also provide lee to lower the boats into the water. Action of the rescue boat will include approaching the distressed vessel not on the windward or leeward side but on the bow or the quarter. They must not make any contact with the disabled ship but just tie a line to it and maintain distance by engine. They should be ready to cast off if there appears danger of coming broadside onto the other vessel. Survivors should jump into the water and then board the boat. Alternatively, a boy with a line could be sent back and forth with survivors in the water. Rescue ship should maintain stations to the leeward of the distressed vessel so that the rescue boat can easily come back to it. Some of the other methods that can be used to rescue the crew and passengers from the distressed vessel will include towing a life raft across the bows of the disabled ship till the line touches it. Survivors can then board the raft and be pulled back to the rescue ship. Initially, the line throwing apparatus or LTA may be used to establish contact and then a life raft is sent back and forth to bring the survivors. You may also drift broadside into the forward and aft line of the ship and rescue the survivors by rigging an endless whip. To rescue the crew and passengers from a standard wreck or stranded wreck becomes easier as one of the vessel now is stationary and there is no risk of the vessel drifting onto the rescue ship or the rescue craft. Approach should not be on the leeward side however in this case. As the wreck is grounded here, there is greater danger due to shallow water and proximity of dangers. The boat to anchor to the windward side and slowly ease itself towards the wrecked vessel. Thank you.